Hey, welcome back to today's health alert. Buying new backpacks, clothing, and school supplies. Lots to do to get the kids ready for the school year, right? But on that to-do list, parents should also include a full health check. As Andrea Rohn explains, it involves more than just getting your child vaccinated. With summer vacation winding down, this is crunch time for parents across the DMV and busy times at doctor's offices. Like a lot of people, it's August, it's time for back to school, so we're getting all the updated forms completed and time for school to start. Regulations vary by state, but across the metro area, youngsters must show proof of immunization before school starts or they may be excluded from class. This is our immunization schedule. Dr. Blair Farr is a pediatrician at MedStar Georgetown Pediatrics. And then at four years, we have another series of vaccines. We do the MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, um, the varicella, which is a chickenpox vaccine. Um, and then a DTaP, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, and a polio vaccine. And then nothing again until age 11. At 11 years, we do the HPV vaccine, which is the human papilloma virus vaccine, um, the meningococcal vaccine, which protects against um, certain strains of meningitis, and then the Tdap booster, which is tetanus, diphtheria, pertussis. Besides immunizations, the best way to get your child's school year off to a healthy start is with an annual physical. Parents will be asked about their child's sleep patterns, diet, and physical activity. A full physical would also include a hearing exam starting at age four, a vision screening every two years for children over age three, and beginning at one year old, seeing a pediatric dentist to make sure the teeth are growing properly and free of cavities. And given the potential long-term consequences of concussions on young brains, student athletes who want to play a contact sport must first undergo a sports physical and be cleared by a doctor. And so we make sure to ask about family history of any heart disease, um, sudden death early in the family that can be an indicator of heart disease, they have trouble breathing when they're playing a sport. We just want to pick up any underlying conditions that may affect their sports performance and you know, disqualify them from sports. Did you think you were finished with doing school physicals when you left high school? I did. <laughs> Here you are all over again. <laughs> Preventive health care is the direction the country's going in right now, so we just want to make sure that they're seen every year. They start off well at school. Andrea Roan, WUSA 9. All right, we have one more thing to tell you, by the way. If your child has a chronic condition or any sort of allergy that has to requires them to take some medicine during the school day, you have to let your school know. It's listed on the Universal Health C Certificate that you uh, actually give to the school to make sure everyone is on the same page here. So this, of course, is all good for your child's health.